All right, you're watching New Car Spin. I'm your host, Brian, and over there is Pandemic Bob. We'll talk about him in a second. What I want to mention here is I do have a plug-in hybrid with me, and where I live, we do not have any ability to charge vehicles at our parking spaces. However, you will see travel vans like this or one like this, and you'll notice this one here has solar panels. So while you believe you can't drive a plug-in hybrid without charging, Let's see what happens when you have a solar system at home. I think this is a good way to realize, well, are we only going to need to plug in vehicles or can our parking spaces have solar and will that be enough power to charge a vehicle during the day or overnight? So this has an 11 kilowatt hour battery. It charges at three and a half kilowatts an hour. That's the limit with the charge controller. And it actually has its own plug when you buy a new vehicle you get these uh, cables that you can plug into your normal outlet and that would be this one right here so why don't I take this out of the packaging and show you what we have so here's our standard uh, what is it the J1772 adapter which is pretty much what all electric vehicles have there you go. That's what it looks like. And this plugs into the vehicle and the vehicle charges. Now we have a long cable. And on the other end of the cable, we just have right there, a regular plug. There is a separate one that goes into a uh, different version. There you go. That's more like a refrigerator style plug, which I guess gives you more power. So obviously you would charge at a higher rate with one of these. And luckily, this manufacturer, Volvo, gives you two style cables with which to charge. So you can plug this into a normal outlet in your garage or whatever. But if you do not have a garage, like me, leaves and everything, you still have a weird mobile solution in this case. We're going to figure this out. So let's put this down here for a second. That plugs into here, right? And the hope is that on a nice sunny day like this here in Texas, is that these charge panels, there's four of them, will give us power. So, uh, all right, Pandemic Bob, <laughs> explain to me what you have on the solar roof. Okay, on the solar roof, we have four 100 watt panels. 400 watts produces about 18 amps an hour. And then and down below, <clears throat> We have our charge controller. We have four six volt AGM batteries underneath giving 258 amps DC at 12 volt. Okay. Our inverter converts from 12 volt to 110, 110. volt. Okay. And so what we're going to, we'll be plugging that charger right in there and see how it works. Okay. So your theory is that with the power coming from the solar and the power sitting here in these AGM batteries is that the car will just charge. The car should charge. It'll it'll put this close to maximum delivery. The, the the most important thing is can this handle? But this is a 1500 watt inverter, so it should handle the car charging the car. Okay, and then what's this here? Well, that's just a little gauge. The one on the top right is the one we'll be watching. That's the voltage, 12 volt voltage that'll be used from the battery and the solar panel for the charge. Okay. The one on the left, ignore it because it's just wrong. Oh, right. At okay. 21.24, that's just... Okay, so we'll, we should be able to plug it in here and then plug it into the car and then we it, we, see, we should see it charging. It'd be like plugging into a wall socket at home. Okay, with four solar panels. Yes. And how many solar panels would you need to bypass batteries if you if you didn't have enough voltage? Oh, I... Uh, <laughs> no, we'd have the voltage. It would be the inverter that we would have to have bigger inverter. Okay. But it would... It would if it's drawing that much power, then it's really going to put a strain on the batteries, which we probably have to double them and everything to get a proper charge. So okay. maybe 600 watts, and instead of 258 amps, maybe 600 amps, and that would take care of everything in a 2,000 watt inverter. So theoretically, your car parking space, your carport could have six solar panels like these. Yes. Uh, whatever's up there. There's four there. Okay, and then and then you would have some sort of battery system. Yes. Which would be AGM rather than lithium ion. Yeah, you could use AGMs or um, uh, wet cell 
flood, okay. they call it flood <laughs> batteries, like your car battery would be. Okay, well, okay. And you could use lithium, but that's quite expensive. All right, so let's see. Let's plug this uh, into the car and, and uh, go from there. Let me pause this. All right, so this simply goes into there. Now that actually does have the socket for the larger, um, for the other plug, but I'm just gonna stick with this one for now. I'm gonna plug this in. And, uh, well, it's flashing different colors. Yeah. Do not use blah, blah, blah to avoid, do not use the device. Nope, we're not using the extension cord. A solid on trouble indicates the GFI has occurred. No, that's good. So, ah, uh, ventilation not required. Okay, do not plug into electric vehicle. Do not put fingers into electric vehicle. So, okay. Well, it doesn't say anything about not charging it from battery. So I'm assuming with everything else, does everything look good there? We're yeah. Good. Okay. So here, we're going to take this. Pull that a little bit. And we're going to plug this in. And it should charge. The car's making some noises. Uh, let me lock it just to be sure. Okay. And what does it say over here? <clears throat> Okay, it's not doing anything yet. We can tell by the amount of voltage being drawn from the solar panels. Okay. So let me go see if I can trigger that to turn on. How do you trigger it? Uh, turning on another appliance and it'll turn it off. Oh, okay. So I don't really don't know what that means, but when I plugged that into a regular socket in my house, it was a solid blue, just like that. Well, there you go. Is that 0.25 still reading 0.25? Uh, top right corner? Yeah. Current is 1.428. Okay, there you go. 1.86, 77, 99. I don't know if that's right. <laughs> well, it should see 99.99. Okay, so here we got all the, the red lights on, which means it's overpowering that 1500 watt inverter. Okay. So it's going to turn off as a circuit. This is drawing uh, 100 amps or more from the batteries. Now the panels only put out 18 amps. So okay. we're, we're drawing from the batteries at this rate. We'll probably do it for about two hours if the inverter doesn't turn off because it's uh, being overused. Okay, so does temperature matter? Uh, no, no. not okay. really. All right, well, and the car is charging. I think we can see, maybe there's a status light. Yep, there's a status light in there. Green, it's glowing green right there. And I'd show you if there's an app on my phone, but I'm recording from my phone, so there's no way to show you. If I open the car, uh, yeah, it says it's plugged in right there. You can see the plug and fully charge that whenever. So, um, because I opened the car, it shuts off the charging. So you can, you know, it's unlocked and now you can unplug it. So that's it. You can charge from solar <laughs> from a, from Pandemic Bob's Mercedes Sprinter. You just need a bigger inverter. <laughs> okay. Probably 2000 watt would do it. Okay, so if you were thinking you would have off the grid charging for your plug-in hybrid, whether it's a Volvo or not, you could you could do it. It's possible. It's possible, but the inverter would be the biggest factor. The inverter, which is a couple hundred bucks. No, maybe more than that if you're getting a two or three thousand watt. Okay, so a thousand dollars? Less than that, yeah. A couple between hundred bucks. Between five hundred and a thousand. It's only money. And then you've got these batteries. Yes, and then you would want to go, if, it, if the budget permits it, you do lithium. Okay. Gives you a lot more versatility. <clears throat> and then um, if we have sunshine like this, the 400 watt of solar would probably be sufficient. You probably want to go to 600. Okay, so the panels are right up there. They look like a, a ladder rack, but it's it's panels as opposed to that. I don't know whose that is. 
But uh, pretty cool stuff, huh? Yeah. Pretty green. I didn't build this one to charge, but uh, we could always modify it. It wouldn't take much. Oh, good. Okay. And you could be off grid and charge your. EV well, I'm on fire ants here, so <laughs> Oof, they hurt. Uh, all right. Well, thanks. And uh, I guess it is possible. It's we'll possible. go with that. All right. See you later. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. If you're subscribed, hit the bell and see what happens. Thanks for watching.